As a former assistive technology specialist, I have experienced firsthand the impact accessible instruction can make on the lives of students and their families. Today, I hope to illustrate this impact to help you understand the importance of making our instruction accessible to all learners. I'm here today with a former student of mine, Laura, and her mom, Nancy. <laughs> Can the two of you describe to me what it was like when a teacher didn't understand your need for accessible instructional materials, Laura, and therefore didn't provide you what you needed? I would get really frustrated and angry when the teacher didn't give me materials that were accessible to me. I would get tired more quickly. My aide would read me the worksheet, then scan the questions for me to answer. Some of my mainstream teachers would think my aide was answering the questions and not me. I would be more independent if my materials were accessible. And once she started elementary school working with the special ed teacher, um, physically impaired teacher, and the speech therapist there, um, they did not want to use the computer. And after about five months of talking to them, I just went into the school district and set it all up for them so that they would have to do the programs and do the access with Laura. And it worked really well um, for a while. Laura, do you remember all the times, all the hours that were spent scanning materials so that your textbooks and worksheets and teacher-created materials could be in a format that you could access and use? I remember it did take a long time, so I didn't have the materials when everyone else did. It wasn't something that could be done at the spur of the moment. Everything had to be planned. Think about how much easier it would have been if those materials had been accessible in the first place. Can you describe to me what it was like then, Laura and Nancy, when a teacher did understand your need for accessible instructional materials and did provide you with what you needed? I felt really good and understood when my teacher would take the time and effort to make my materials accessible for me. I had a lot more energy, and I felt people value my opinion and me as a person. For me it was I wasn't angry all the time then. Um, I didn't have to be Laura's advocate. I didn't have to be her speech therapist or her teacher. I could be her mom, and that is what I wanted to be was her mom. So Nancy, what steps should districts take to ensure that students who need accessible instructional materials have a positive experience in school? Well, I think one of the first things that the school districts need to do is to make sure that anybody that they hire really has the willingness to learn assistant technology. If they don't have that willingness, it's going to take a long time for the the teacher to learn and, and also to teach the student. The school district will need to provide some type of professional development for the staff as far as assistive technology. Legislation such as IDEA continues to set mandates for schools to provide accessible instructional materials to all learners, yet we continue to see schools struggling to do so. Ultimately, it's in our hands as education professionals to make a commitment to ensuring all students receive the education experience they rightfully deserve. 
please make this commitment by following this link and pledging to advocate for, support, and ultimately create an accessible instructional environment in your classroom, school, district, or organization. By staying committed and working together, we are sure to make a lasting impact on the lives of all students.